New Zealand's parliament has passed a bill legislating three days bereavement at full pay for both mother and father following a miscarriage. That has advocates here at home saying Canada could do something similar, but the political appetite for it simply isn't there. I think the first question a lot of us have when we see these announcements from overseas is how does it compare with what we're doing here at home? But Canada, I believe, um, is, is behind a, a lot of nations. Uh, we're one of the only developed nations uh, in the world that does not have a national bereavement strategy. Are you aware of any efforts in Canada towards getting bereavement leave uh, for, you know, um, parents who, who are experiencing miscarriage? There are a number of organizations that have band together. We have the National Grief Alliance. Uh, who are uh, working together to try and, um, you know, normalize conversations of death, dying, and grief. Do you get a sense that in Canada we are getting closer to having bereavement leave, uh, you know, for parents who, who have had a miscarriage, or is this something that still feels far off for you? Um, the response that I got from uh, this government and also provincially, I, I've written to... Um, numerous governments in British Columbia over the years. The last one was um, the NDP government. Um, there, there was a response, but basically uh, the response was there is no uh, funding for bereavement care. And I, I presume that uh, provincial governments are waiting on the federal government to um, make introduce some changes. That bill in New Zealand passed with unanimous support in the legislature and includes leave for parents planning to have children through adoption or surrogacy. In Vancouver, David Zura, City News.